what's up programmers welcome back so today's pattern which we will be looking at is this pattern now this pattern is actually a little different from the patterns that we have did now here we start out with one stars and then in the second row we print three then five then seven then nine so we are printing the on a particular row we are printing the odd number of stars on each row okay so let's look how this will look on our screen so this is our row section and this is our column section we start out with one star and continue with three five seven and nine so if you look at any particular given row now the number of stars that are to be printed is actually dependent on our row now how does it depend on row now see if you if you see you may think that this one and this one okay i get this one now this two and but here there are three how do i get this so for this we start out with one we need to multiply this by two so our answer is one into two is two and we need to subtract it by one okay so i'll take a little bit complicated one now if you want to know how many stars we want to print on our fourth row now four into two that is eight eight minus one which is equal to seven so in this one we are printing seven stars so for any particular row that we want to find how many stars we want to print we use this formula that is row into two minus one so on the fifth row we'll be printing five into two which is ten minus one that is nine stars we'll be printing so this is how we find out the numbers of stars to be printed on any particular row so let's jump into the code and start coding this so as you can see i've just written down a few things that is i took the input for number of rows from the user and main and the, the stdio the basic stuff i wrote down so now we need to start out the the very first thing is the loop for our rows now i just declared a few variables this is for our outer loop for the row now this is for our spaces printing and this is for our stars printing so we'll start our row from 1 and this will go till the number of rows we want to print so now the first thing that we need to do is we need to print spaces now i forgot to mention the spaces but i assume you found it out that we were having spaces over here so we start with four spaces 3 2 1 and the same spacing strategy will be used that we used in our previous videos so a loop for our spacing now for this i'll be using the call space variable which will start out by number of rows minus the row that we currently are on now if you recollect this is the same loop that we ha are using from uh, maybe three or four previous videos uh, patterns that we did so now we'll jump on to our stars part where our main the the different things come over here now for this i'll be using our column star which i have to start from 1 and now if you remember the formula the formula was row into 2 minus 1 so we need to print the stars for row into 2 minus 1 times so i'll put this condition so your column star is less than or your equal to the row that we are currently on into 2 minus 1 now this is the formula that i showed you in uh, the presentation the, that we have used so now we have even successfully written our loop for our stars now the only thing that is left that is we need to print our star so we have done our pattern for one line so now let's go to the next line so this is done by our backslash n and i am thinking we have successfully did it so let's compile to see if we have any errors so no errors so now let's run it let's try printing say five rows so as you can see we have properly printed five rows now let's try for a larger number say 10 now you can see that we have properly printed our rows so we have successfully implemented this code 
so that's it for this tutorial now before we go out i want you guys to try out this pattern okay so this is a similar pattern um, in the uh, the pattern which we did today had increasing uh, we were doing this in ascending order now we need to do it in descending order now if you have understood this code you can easily implement this code now f using both of these codes we will be doing a diamond shape pattern in the next tutorial so please do try this out so that's it for this uh, tutorial see you next time please do subscribe to our channel like our videos put your suggestions in our comment section and if you have any doubts or any patterns that you want please do also put it in the comment section thank you